Okay, um, probability week 23 or for Maplewood 2015, we are doing this week 17. Um, it's kind of another sample set lesson. Um, basically, you break the kids up into groups of two, and they each have, um, or they have three chips, two of one color and one of another color. Um, basically, they have, somebody has the chips hidden behind their back or in front of them, and the other child picks a hand. If they pick a hand that has a white chip, that child gets a point. And if they um, pick a hand, if they don't have a white chip, then the other child gets a point. So we'll just have two teams here. If you pick a white, the white scores get it. If you don't pick a white, the red person has it. And then, um, so these are my chips. Little Joey smashes them up. These two go in one hand, these two go in another. Susie picks this hand, if she gets a white one, she'll get a score for white. This will be Sue. Okay. Um, and then they switch them up again. Okay. Oh, she's always going to pick this side for my example. She gets another white one. So she gets two. Mix them up again. I need to look here. Okay, two on this side. Oh, actually, it could be either way, really. All right, she's going to pick this side up. She doesn't get any, and the red one, the red one gets a point. Mix them up again. She's going to pick white. Okay, this time she's going to pick this side. She got a red and a white, but that's still a white, so she gets a point. Doing pretty well so far. She gets another white. Again, this shows you it's like you really have to do it a lot of times sometimes for it to come out. Um, they're the results to equal what the probabilities are. Oh my, one again. Okay, so you keep doing that ten times, and then you can worry. Look at your results. Like how many times. White was picked, how many times red was picked. This is a little bit deceiving, though, because you might think that since you have three chips and two of them are red, you have the probability of picking red more often. So if you have an um, older class, you might look at setting up a sample set for your results. Um, basically, if you, here's your left hand, here's your right hand, if you're left hand is red, then your right hand would be red and white. If your left hand is red, red, right hand, white, left hand, red, white, right hand, red, left hand, white, right hand, red, white. And you can see, well, how often could my left hand be white? And you see a total of four options there, and you see two of them are white. So half of the time, your left hand could be white. How about the other side? I think I wrote it down wrong. Sorry. Red, red. Half of the time, your right hand could be um, white. So even though we were getting white a lot more, and you would think that red might be more um, easily got gotten, you really have a 50% chance of getting a white, basically because you have two hands, and the white's either going to be in the right or the left. So you have half of the time you should get white. Now how about red? Does that make a difference? Well, you can see from our sample set, it does, because out of the four options, three of those on the left side are red. So you, on the left side, you have a three-fourths chance of getting a red one. And on the right side, you have a three out of four chance of getting a red one. So um, now there, you, have a, you can talk about the probabilities being greater because you have two chips of the same color. 
Um, so that's the, that's, you can combine, you can do the combining class thing again for this. You can draw a sample set if you want, if you have older kids, or you can just um, talk about, you could stop them after doing it 10 times, see what the results are, then have them do it another 10 times and see if the results for the whites are closer to 50-50. Um, you could have them do it with the reds after a while and have the red per if you get to pick a red you would get a point and do that 10 times or 20 times and see if the results are closer to three-fourths instead of one half so you can make the most of these just again please plan ahead and plan um, what you're going to do after you do the initial um, lab and plan ahead and know what questions you're going to be asking your group ahead of time. Okay, and that is the end of week um, 17. Bye.